begin at 4 o'clock, please. And turn with me to 1 Kings chapter 18. Thank, thank God also for uh, Barry and Jamal who, who did all our recording. Recording and pumping. They're like, Jamal, it's a pump. Barry, get over here, pump. I used to call it one hand and, and pump with the other hand. All I heard was five, four, two. Oh, it's the 11. <laughs> Tell somebody we're going to do that again. First Kings chapter 18. And a little 19, go jump around just a little bit. We're going to 18, but we're going to we're going to start. Uh, uh, you don't have to do the screen because I want to jump around unless you unless you can keep up with me. But I'm going to start at verse 36. Verse 36, First Kings 18:36. It begins the reading of God's holy and eternal word. Look at you caught up. Look at y'all. <laughs> and it came to pass at the time of the offering of the even sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel and that I am thy servant and that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Verse 46. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he girded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. Chapter 19 and 1. And they have told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. And with thou how he had slain all the prophets with a sword. Then Jezebel sent the messenger to Elijah saying, So let the gods do to me. And more also, if I not make your life as the life of one of them by tomorrow, about this time. And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life. And came to Bathsheba and that belonged to Judah and left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die and said, it is enough. Now, O oh Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. So far, the scripture. Verse 36 and 18, he says, Let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and I am your servant, and that I have done all these things at your word. I'm your servant. I've done all these things at your word. Chapter 19, verse 4, a lot of part says, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life. For I am not better than my father's. It's enough now, oh Lord. I want to talk to you from the, uh, this text, these two chapters intertwined together from the subject, painful victories. Let's might tell them, I've experienced some painful victories. You may see it. I've experienced some some painful victories. Yeah, it's painful. This uh, text resonates so 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 much uh, in my spirit, and I'm sure in some of your spirits, and, and you, you will you will. I hope find yourself in the text somewhere. Somewhere you will find your yourself 
in the text, you know, he parked somewhere at verse 18, and he parked somewhere at verse 36, or he parked somewhere at verse 2 or 3. But I believe all of us have had some pain. And I believe all of us have had some victories. But then I believe there's some of us who've had some painful victories. When you, when you win, but it hurts. Yeah, when you, when you win, but it hurts. That's such an oxymoron. Uh, I won, but I'm not happy. I won. I got the job, and I ain't happy. Amen. I finally bagged her. I ain't happy. She finally said yes, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Got the house, but these bills start coming in. Yes. Painful victories, and I think what we what we don't like to admit is that that winning hurts sometimes. That getting getting what you want sometimes hurts. Amen. Sometimes you can get what you asked for and wish you didn't get it. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got it, but now I'm, I'm rethinking what I got. Uh, uh, I secured it, but I'm not sure if this is the job. They offered me the position, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not settled in my spirit. Pain, y'all. Pain. Pain to have you going crazy. And people don't understand that you should be happy because, because you, you've got something. People, and you know, it, it was amazing is when you complain about your job and people say, they, people say, you should be glad you got a job. But you don't know how I work. or deal with people that are racist, or deal with people that talk down to me, or deal with people that act like I'm invisible. My mama ain't made a glass, you see me. Right. Painful. Come on. Victory. Yes. And, and, and when I, and I'm telling you, this, Alicia, this one right here, this one right here, if, 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 if you don't, if you don't know, when, when my God finally gives you some stuff, and you can't tell people why you're not always smiling, you will. You should be happy. Why? Well, I, mean, I understand that God gave it to me and I asked for it, but, but there, are, there are some struggles even in your successes. Yes. There are some struggles you know, in your successes. And, and in this text, I'm, I want to just drive or, or do a slow drive by to show you what a painful victory can look like. Like because in, in, in the text you the, the background is talking about to understand the whole thing go back to chapter when you get some time later go back to chapter 16 to 17 and then you begin to read about Elijah, Elijah the, the, the prophet and, 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 and Elijah he's he is he is an awesome prophet because he's 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 always going against the government God every now and then causes a prophet to go against the government. You know, civil disobedience. And then he speaks a word uh, against the injustices of the government. And, and, and it, was a, it was always a checks and balances between the prophets and the kings. Amen. God has always given a checks and, a, and imbalances, it's like, it's like the, the, the government, it's the, the, the judiciary and the executive and, and the legislative, they're, they're, they're pitting an order, they're, they're linear so that, so that no one has all of the authority. Yeah, that, that we have the authority to check you. Yeah. 
that you just can't declare war without coming to us and, and we can't just write checks without coming to you and, and if we disagree we go to the Supreme Court and, and then they go back and they look at the Constitution that governs the nation. So anytime there's an issue and we don't agree, what do we do? We go back to the Constitution that governs the nation. We go back to the Word of God that, that governs the nation. And it governs the church. And, and Elijah is, he, he's, he doesn't like what he sees. And, 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 and one text says that, that he shuts down the heavens. Now you know you bad when you tell the heavens don't like you. You said it ain't gonna rain until I say so. Well, I need that kind of power that says it ain't gonna rain. Jesus. Close my mouth. Come on. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of power yeah. I want. That 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 it ain't, ain't nothing gonna happen while I'm here. That's right. Yeah. And, and, and I think that's why some of the jobs you're working on are blessings. It's because you're there. And you don't know why God got you there. God said, because once you leave, I'm, I'm, I'm stripping grace from this place. And, and you got to tell them, we, we, we upset because they phase and out our department. Not while I'm here. Right. right. Not while I'm here. Ain't, ain't nothing. Not, not, I'm going to put my resume out. And, and once, I, once I leave, I'm telling you, you better follow me because when I leave, grace is leaving with me. Right. So if you were smart, you would check the fax machine. If you see my fax in there, you should pick one behind me. Because when I leave, the grace that's on me is leaving. And it says, I'm, I'm shutting up the heavens. There's going to be a famine. Y'all going to be hungry around here. And, and there is a, a battle. There is this battle between these, these three people. It's, it's a battle between, between Elijah and Ahab. And his wife, Elijah, Ahab, and Jezebel. Elijah was able to to battle Ahab. He was he was able to battle Ahab. He wasn't he wasn't afraid of Ahab. He, no, 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 no. He, he told them. He says, uh, 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 Ahab came to Elijah and said, you're the one that's bringing trouble to Israel. Elijah said, no, you're the one that's bringing trouble to Israel. He wasn't scared of Ahab. But Jezebel? <coughs> that's another spirit. And, and, and you have to know your, your level the level of, of, of a demonic uh, 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 attack. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, there, there, there are special authorities that you are given where you can supersede. Then there's another level. When you get high, he sends another level. That's why I tell people, you, you, you can be saved home, but you ain't going to be saved long. Right. Well, I got to go to church. Don't go. I can't be saved home. Yeah. Elijah marries 
this woman, y'all, who you marry can direct or detour your destiny. Who you direct, who you marry can direct or, or detour your destiny. It'll slow you down or speed you up. And he marries this nasty woman, y'all. Now, now, understand, Ahab was nasty himself. He's nasty. He, he brings back idolatry to Israel. He, he brings back worshiping false gods in the church. He brings back worshiping false gods in the church. He, he has all these encounters with the prophets, but he was not stopping what he was doing. So let's not put all the blame on her. There was some stuff inside of him. And he brings idolatry and he has all this uh, uh, stuff. And, but, but when he hooks up with her, things change. I can tell who you've been hanging with by your behavior. Yeah, I can, I can tell who you, you know, who, who you, who, uh, that you've changed because your, your speech has changed. Yes. How you walk has changed. Your theology has changed. Wow. Your position in church has changed. Once you hooked up with them, you start coming and, and I'm trying to find out, like Paul said, who hindered you? Jesus. You know, who has the power to separate you from God? That's powerful. A person is that powerful that they can stop you from serving God. That's a dangerous person. They can stop you from serving God. You can stop me from doing a lot of things, but you ain't going to stop me from serving God. Ain't nobody that powerful that, that, that they have that much power and influence. You ain't that pretty. You ain't that gorgeous. Your hair ain't that straight. Ain't no, you ain't that fine to stop me from coming to church. I don't care what you look like, 36, 28, 30, no, 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 you ain't that kind. I gotta find myself back in church. Where you going, baby? It's early. I, I know I was doing some stuff with you, but, but no, 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 no. I, I, I got to be in church. I, no, 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 no. I, I know I ain't you right, and I know I should hook up with you, but I gotta go to church. I can go. So I'm not saying because you, 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 you're you not all the way right that you shouldn't come. Still find yourself back in God's house because it's safer in here than it is out there. Yeah. You got a better chance by coming here. You, know, you, 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 you got a better chance at making it. You got a better chance to, 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 to correct you and connect you to the right person or people. I don't care what you did last night. Church. Come to church. Come to church. Come to church. And there is, there is a battle because Elijah you know, hooks up what they have and they have an argument about rain. Yeah. They have an argument, a disagreement about the heavens being shut. And then Ahab says, I serve the will of God. And Elijah says, no, I serve the will of God. And Ahab says, no, I serve, no, I serve, no, I serve. And Elijah says, you know what we're going to do? We're going to build some altars here. Well. He said, we're going to stop this right now and let's build an altar. Because anytime you want to hear from God, build yourself an altar. Yeah. Why, why are you not going to go to an altar? Why fuss with people when we can go to an altar? Why, why go back and forth? Well, I ain't got time to be arguing with you on Facebook about who God is. Let's build an altar. Let's build that. Get a sacrifice. Kill it. Burn it. Pin it on the altar. Let's see what happens. He says the God that answers by fire, that's God. The God that answers by fire, he God. He said, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to let you go first. He said, I'm going to let y'all go first. And they build an altar and they put a sacrifice. Elijah put a sacrifice. Elijah stands back and he said, okay, call on your God. And they're calling on their God and they're doing all and they're dancing and they're doing all this stuff. Elijah's sitting back and he says, where you at? 
<laughs> and he starts getting comical. He says, maybe he's sleeping. <laughs> he said, maybe your God went on a trip. He said, man, said, something wrong with your God. That, that, that he don't hear you. And they began to cut themselves. And they began, they began doing all this crazy stuff. And he says, my turn. Because God will always give you a platform for you to tell somebody who he is and he will show up. Sometimes you got to tell people, my turn. My turn. Now that you had your turn, now it's my turn to tell you who God is, to tell you he's a healer, to tell you he's a deliverer, to tell you he's a way maker. Now it's my turn. Some days it's my turn to tell the world that I serve the real God. It's my turn. You had your turn on Friday. Had your turn on Thursday. You ain't shut that music up all night. Now Sunday is my turn. Yeah. 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 My turn. <laughs> These folks met next door. Had the audacity one Sunday tonight to come over here and tell us the music too loud. Water. He connects with water. Yeah. <laughs> and he, 
says, he says, he says, he said, bring your prophets. And they put the 450 and another 400. And when the fire came down, God consumes the fire. He kills the prophets. And, 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 and at that moment, at that moment, we begin to see inside Elijah's mind. Because Elijah says, I'm the only one who left. And, and sometimes we be doing God's will. You might felt like I'm the only one. Yes. Uh, see, some of y'all, that's, that's not arrogant. Sometimes, that's a sign of depression. That, that's what it is. His mental stability was being challenged. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's breaking down because I'm standing in front of 850 people that's trying to take me out and I'm by myself. And even though God answered, I'm the only one here. I'm the only one. I'm the only one saved. You give it was in your house and you're the only one saved. And you say, I'm the only one. They see me going to church. They see me praying. They see me turning down my plate. They see me worshiping. They knew me before. Oh, you know your family know the real you. That's why they have a hard time coming because they can't believe that he saved you. That's it. Yeah. They, they knew you went. They don't need no Facebook reminders. They was there when you came in at four in the morning. They was there when you jumped in the shower at a quarter to twelve. A quarter to twelve when you just get in the shower. I just got paid. Friday night. Party's popping. Feel alive. I told you 
that one for good. You know what I mean? I thought I was gonna preach something like that. She said, that don't sound right, but <laughs> it was a little different though. It was a little, it was a little different. Now, see, I I even checked him. How did it sound? She said, that, she said, you gonna have to explain that one. You gonna have to, you gonna have to explain. I said, they ain't ready for this. They ain't ready for this. <laughs> they ain't ready. They ain't ready. But y'all was ready. Y'all was ready for that one, man. <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Cause when you get 
looking at that for your excitement. Sins 
in the future. And the, and the Bible is careful to, to quote exactly what she said. She said, so let the gods do to me. Let the gods do to me. And more also, if I not make not the life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. She said, Negro, you got 24 hours to live. That's what she said. She said, if I don't kill you, let the gods kill me. But I'm telling you, I'm coming after you tomorrow. Get your life insurance policies. Clip up your house. Get your affairs in order. Tell your family where the stuff is. Find out where a good China at. Where's this at? Where's that? Because tomorrow you about to die. He's about to die. Now here's the crazy part. Two verses before this, the Bible says that the hanging of the law. Come on over here. So anytime I got his hand, I got a threat. That's good. Make that See, that's that part. If somebody else would have said it. Oh! Right, right. Let me say it again. Ooh. Jezebel. Right. Right. 
I'm Jezebel. I'm, I'm Jezebel. I'm, I'm Jezebel. Lord. I'm, 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 I'll keep that one to myself because this is going to be too obvious. <laughs> that one, that one's going to be too obvious. I'll tell you next year. She sends a message, y'all, to, to, to Elijah says, I'm going to keep you. I'm going to take you out. And, and, and the Bible says, and when he saw that, he rose. He went for his life. He left. He ran. He went for his life. You just beat 850. But now you're scared of one.
smoke weed, right? It's legal. Yes. Yeah. 
Let off a bird or two outside. It is what it is. We'll catch a pigeon for you and release it. <laughs> Alicia got a cage on, nice and huge on the roof. She be flying birds, she told me. But you, don't you let, but whatever ain't right now, it ain't listen. You got Was on you. His hand 
in the power, the strength of God. And he says, even in the truth of God, he says, I want to die. You don't even know your own strength. You don't even recognize that you are God's hand. And God says, you are my hand. You can't die. Absolutely not. I have assignments for you. I got things for you to do. There's nieces and nephews assigned to you. There's grandkids assigned to you. There's cousins assigned to you. People in your house are assigned to you. And you in the bed with the shade down because they said something to you on a job. Get up and get some water and kick. All is oil and you in the bed. All is anointing and you in the bed. All is favor, and you got the blind shut and the shades down. Absolutely not. It's a pain, but it's victory. Yes. And don't let your pain overshadow your victory. Don't let your pain overshadow what God has done is doing and is what is about to do. God is giving you the victory. Tell somebody, God is giving you the victory. Tell them, God is giving you. Tell them, no, you make it emphatic. God is giving you the victory. Don't let that pain stop you from hearing God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I want to make an altar call because this is what we do. Because I believe somebody is focusing more on their pain than their victory. You're focusing more on your pain than your victory. And God is trying to give you victory. And it's going to help you to match some pain God ain't going to take. I will not lie and tell you all your pain. No, 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 no. He's going to tell you how to manage that thing. He's going to tell you how to manage it so it don't hurt you. It's a pain in the neck, but it ain't going to kill you. You're going to manage it. People ain't going to know you in pain. You got to be so, so in tune with God that you could be in pain that people don't even know. Neck hurt. Leg hurt, but you in church giving God glory and giving God praise because you told pain right now this body gonna praise the Lord. Yeah. You gonna behave between 11 and 2 on Sunday. You will leave me alone. I'm going to church. I'll meet you back at the house at about 3. Yeah. And at 4, let me loose again to the afternoon service. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. I don't like no pain to stop me. Can't let a threat of something that has not even come to pass. She sends a messenger. It's a messenger. It ain't even a real thing. She sends a message, a chat, a text, an email. Side up in your DM. She sends something. And he's he says, I wanna. You don't have to die when you can live.